how do there, chums, tis I, captain of the Steves, and I'm back in my garage and today I've got a little side project. My brother has a tarantula and he also loves Goonies. He's asked me if I can print a Goonies pirate coin. So we're about halfway through, an hour and 30 minutes left to go, and as you can see, his 3D printed pirate coin is coming along quite lovely right now, people inside of the view of us. Well, chums, I am now home from a day out, and the build is completed. My brother's coin is printed. So, yep, yeah, just need to clean this up, and then we'll start the painting thing. Okay, chums, well, you was probably wondering what this little stand was. It was just simply that. It just broke away. I, I didn't have to do anything. It just popped straight off of it. Really good print model. Very good. And, uh, yeah, can't wait to paint this up for my bro and see how it looks. Okay people, I've got a pearly white that I'm going to use as a base, just around the base. And then I'm going to use a deep metallic copper. And then I'm just going to do a light dusting of the metallic gold. On each of these coins, my little makeshift spray boot. Okay, right, well I've spray painted them to give it that sort of like pearlescent, sort of goldish, rusted copper sort of look. And both sides have been done. Be careful how I touch these, because they're still wet. And that's the better side, I think. But yeah, they're looking pretty darn nice. Now, I've just got to do black wash on them, dry brush a bit of extra gold on there, especially around the edges where the spray paint didn't reach. And I think they're about done. Okay, so I'm going to be using a little bit of Humbrol black wash. And I've also got some Citadel. This is Space Wolf sort of grey, which I'm going to add that onto the actual copper areas to make it look like it's a bit tarnished in places. And the black wash is just to add all shadows and depth to the actual coins. So yeah, here's the two coins anyway. They're looking quite great as they are, even as they are. And I've also got this gold leafing pen, which I'm just going to put around the edges because there are areas like there where you can see that there's no paint that's taken and on the side there. So I'm just going to tidy it up and uh, hopefully these are going to look pretty darn special when they're done. Okay, well I've applied the black washes to them. As you can see, I still haven't done the gold around the edges or tidied up the edges. I'm going to have to wait till that dries now, but both sides are done with the black washes. You can really see the detail on them. It's really starting to pop. They're looking good. These edges here, as you can see, it's not like it's got all the plastic showing. I'm just using the gold leafing pen, going around all the edges like that, making sure it's all got decent coverage with the leafing pen. And I'm also bringing a bit of gold onto the front of the actual coin as well, just to sort of smarten it up a bit. And you can see that's sort of where it's been held, so I'm just going to go over here. You can see there, bringing up all the gold to the actual surface, giving it a bit of a shine. So I'm just going to do that. I'm going to finish off all the edges, and then this coin is about done. This one is done now. I mean, look at that. That's looking perfect now. That's the actual finished article. Just got to wait for that all to dry properly. And as you can see, you're picking up a little bit of paint, but it's virtually dry anyway. There we go. All done. Very cool. Look at us. Love doing this sort of stuff. Uh, thank you for watching, people. Till next time, like, subscribe, and share the video. Thank you. Cheerio. Bye.